I did learn one thing, and that is putting the band back together. Okay. No way. We're on a mission from God. What's up, my machine freaks? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you're feeling froggy fresh. I hope you're feeling super fly on this fine evening. Fine evening? It's the morning. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, depending on when you're watching this, that's when uh, the time. Anyways. Cole and I masked this area off, then we etched it. It originally looked like this, but we sprayed some of this on because it's got bare metal, and this is what we got. And it looks really, really good until you look really close. It's dry now. Can you see? But you can see on the edge of that sand mark, it's bubbling up. And unfortunately, it's doing it everywhere. Well, about on 30% of the paint, which is not good. So instead of you know risking whether or not it's gonna bubble back here or try to sand it really good, Cole actually just went to the store. He's gonna buy some paint remover. We're gonna just peel this paint off. We're definitely gonna need some masks because I'm sure that stuff is cancerous. But we wanna get this truck painted. We're gonna try to get it painted. We had to go grab some parts, some sandpaper, Cole's dropping his keys. You know what? You know you're doing your shopping right when you walk out of the store with more money than what you had. <laughs> I'm an extreme couponer. Not really, I just took back something that I never needed. And then we bought what we needed. It's becoming fall here in New York State. The only thing good about fall is the grape smell. That's the only thing I like other than that. You know, the, the leaves just remind me that it's going to get cold, it's going to get snowy. And yes, I own two snowmobiles, but at the same time, it's like, you get cold. And just like that, without any warning, this is the next day. This is what the truck now looks like after Cole and I bought some stripper and took off all the paint. We, uh, this is etching. This like grabs onto the steel. What's extremely funny, and, and I gotta get to this soon because it will rain in a couple hours, is the fact that I worked on the front quarter panel, Cole worked on the back, and Cole's turned out better than mine, which is awesome. I should have had him working on the front too. But I mean, I'm looking at everything here and it's like baby butt smooth. There was one dent back here. It's about 90%, it's just not 100%, so I'm gonna have to sand that down. Cole's still in bed. Otherwise, I'd have him do it because he's a professional, I guess. I'm just inspecting the entire spot that we etched. I feel shallow. Here I have this beautiful truck and I'm picking out all her imperfections. You're supposed to love a woman as she is. Now, no, I don't really think of my truck as a woman, but that's just what comes to my mind when I'm doing this. I gotta show you something. So like I said, Cole worked on this whole rear panel. Look at all the mistakes that were shown. That wasn't even his fault, that was mine. That wasn't his fault either. Cole, you're good. Just do the front for me, wake up. <laughs> I need your help. Look at mine, I mean, ding, 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 ding. But this one I did do the majority of, and those are only the two imperfections, and that was because when we were stripping, the stripper got behind some of the Bondo and screwed it up, so I just gotta redo that. Not too big of a deal. There, I reapplied Bondo to the truck. That's gonna wrap it up for this 3D Machines production. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did learn one thing, and that is, if you don't have a shop to do this in, you're, you're waiting on weather, weather's making your ultimate decision, and you just, you're constantly stressed, and you're constantly worried, like, what's gonna happen? Because I wanna do this right. I have a lot of money into this. I'm only gonna save, like, 1000 to, like, $1,100, but that's only good if it turns out well. So I'll see you in the next 3D Machines production. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. If you're a machine like myself and you enjoy a challenge, then pick up some 3D Machines merch. Take care, you guys. 3D Machines out. Oh, no.